Hi Tenfo, my name is Kevin from Florida and I need your help with these questions. I would really appreciate your help. Thank you in advance. So if we go and have a look at this question, it says we've got an experiment and there's a rough inclined plane. What does that mean? It means that there is friction. So if you see this word rough, you know that there is friction between Q and R and it's being constructed to stop this block five kilograms as it's moving up the slope. So this block is moving up and it goes a certain distance where the final velocity here is going to be zero. So it's going to be brought to a stop. The block comes to a stop, it says, at point R, which is three meters above the ground. The frictional force between the surface, QR, and the block is 18 newtons. So we know there's a force of friction acting of 18 newtons. Right, so if we go now into the question, so remember the first question was about your non-conservative force, so please go learn your definitions. Now, it says use energy principles and calculate the angle theta of slope QR. So, if you get a question like this, when they say using energy principles, so they haven't specified, so you can either use W net equal to delta EK, so that would be one way of doing it, and that is known, remember, that is known as the work energy theorem, so you could use that, that's energy principles, and the one that I would like you to use is WNC. So on your information sheet, and I haven't really been referring to them too much today, but you know where your equations are, so please familiarize yourself, and so we are looking at this equation, and that is also an energy principle. Now this says the work done by the non-conserved force. And guess what? They led you into this because there they're asking you for the definition of a non-conserved force. So what are these non-conserved forces? So your non-conserved force is everything except gravity. Um, the same with also electrostatic forces will be a conserved force, magnetic forces will be a conserved force. So what are non-conserved forces? Force of friction is one. The work done by a motor car, the engine of a motor car, that's another non-conserved force. The tension in a rope, etc. So these are all non-conserved forces. So I would like you to use this equation. So when in doubt, always go with this equation. You know why? It just works out very, very straightforward. It's much simpler and we tend to, um, it's just easier to use. Now, not forgetting, the question's asking us to work out the angle of the slope. They gave us this height as three meters. So in order to work out theta, I need to know the displacement from Q to R. So that is what I'm going to want to work out. Then I can see that sine theta, to get theta, sine theta using sine is going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So it's going to be 3 over x. So if I can work or calculate x, then I can work out Theta. So this is what we are going to do. That's going to be my modus operandi. So we're going to start off by WNC equals delta EK plus delta EP. Now this is given to you on the information sheet. Now what non-conserved forces were there? So if we have a look at the stem of the question, it says here we've got friction. All right, and we have also got then, um, so a rough inclined plane has been constructed to stop a moving block. And that is the only non-conserved force that we have. There's no other non-conserved force. So we're going to have WNC, which is nothing more than the work done by friction, is equal to the change in the kinetic energy. So that is going to be a half M V final squared minus a half M V initial squared. Remember, change means the difference. Plus, now I find we make a lot of mistakes with this question. So remember here, it says plus. Now, we're looking at the change in height. So I'm going to have to write down here. So it's going to be mgh final minus mgh 
H initial. In science, we always work with final point minus the initial point. Oh gosh, sorry guys, it's a bit wobbly. It's being a bit temperamental here. There we go. All right, so what is the work done by friction? Well, the work done by friction is going to be the force of friction multiplied by the displacement multiplied by cos theta. So remember, this is my work equation equals a half mv final squared. So the mass of the block was 5 kilograms. So it's 5 times final velocity. It stopped, so it's naught squared minus a half mass is 5. Initial velocity, they said it was moving at 9,90 meters per second. Don't forget to square. So we normally end up writing it, but we forget to do it. So please don't forget. Plus, mass of the block is 5 times 9,8. The height, it went to 3 meters minus 5 times 9,8 times the initial height, it was at ground level, so it's minus naught, or times by naught. So now we're going to expand. Force of friction, what did they tell us? The force of friction was, my brain is like a sieve today, so it's 18 newtons. So this is 18 times delta x times the cos of 180 degrees. Why is it 180? Well, guys, this block is moving up the slope. So if the movement is up the slope, where's friction acting? Down the slope. So what is the angle between my displacement and the force of friction? 180 degrees. So it's going to be 18 times delta x times cos of 180 equals. So this is going to be 0 minus. Now we need a calculator again. I wish I could do this in my head. 9.9, .9. oh let's first clear the calculator, 9.9 .9 times 9.9, .9. multiply by 5, multiply by 0.5, and that is going to give us 245,025, so it's minus 245,025, and now we need the calculator again, sorry I've done something here, I don't want this bracket, Okay, I should have maybe chosen a different color. Right, so now we're going to do the next part. So it's going to be 5 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 3. And that's 147. All right, so let's close that bracket. Plus 147 minus 0. Now we're going to simplify this. So get my calculator again. All right, so it's 147 minus 245.025. And that's 98,025. So it's 98,025. And it was a negative. All right, so now we are trying to solve for delta x. Now, cos of 180 is negative, so we've got minus 18 delta x equals minus 98 comma 0 to 5. Therefore, delta x is going to equal, where's my calculator again? I thought I could do this in my head, but no, that divided by um, 18 equals minus 5 comma 4, sorry, it's going to be a plus 5 comma 4, 4 meters. Now we've got the displacement. So now we need to go work out the angle. So now we go sine theta equals 3 over 5 comma 4, 4. So now we use our calculator, therefore theta is equal to the second function or inverse function of 3 over 5 comma 4, 4. And you use that and you go work out theta, and theta is equal to approximately 33,4 degrees. And there we go.